So yes, I'm the admin. Bata pa ako, guys. At yes, magte ako ng sets din. So kaya nag-start ako ng yung page na to. So, wait. Hey. Hello, nakikita niyo ba yung share screen ko? Yes. Okay. So, Oh my God, <laughs> okay. Sorry, dami pa lang participants. <laughs> okay. Dali lang. Ko lahat. Dito ba lahat? Wills, dami pa lang. Oh my God. <laughs> Kinakabahan ako. <laughs> okay. So, may nag... May nag-text sa akin na medyo mabilis ako magsalita. So, ngayon, dahan-dahan na. <laughs> hey. So, yung discussion natin ngayon, tatlong topics. Biology, chemistry, English. So, in case medyo di nyo alam kung saan galing yung sources ko, STEM student ako, so alam ko kung ano yung sciences. Tapos English, fluent ako sa English, so... Yeah. So, let's okay. Let's start. So, oops, may isa pa. <laughs> Nakikita niyo yung screen ko, yung PowerPoint presentation. Yes, yes po. po. Ang cute niyo, good uh, po. <laughs> Go at. <laughs> Ang cute niyo. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Oh my god. Lagi kong sinasabi. Oh my God. Okay. So first, let's start with biology. So, dalawang topics ng biology ngayon. First is basic biology trivia. And second is biomolecules. So, yes. Let's start. Hindi yung nag-draw. <laughs> Siyang gumagamit ng whiteboard. <laughs> Okay, so first, basic biology trivia. Oh my God, wait. Ang dami palang participants. Sorry. <laughs> Kailangan ko pa i-admit. Okay, so first, basic biology trivia. Oops. There are seven characteristics that all living creatures possess. Cute po ng voice niya. Thank you. <laughs> so first is movement. So, parts of the body can move and muscles contract. So, basically, all living creatures can move. Kahit yung mga plants, gumagalaw pa rin sila sa hangin. So, yeah. Second, reproduction. This is when genetic information is passed on from generation to generation. Ibig sabihin na to is offspring. So, when our parents reproduce, we are the offspring. So, when we next when we are the next generation to reproduce, that is also an act of reproduction. When offspring is continued on, that is, when offspring is continued to be produced. The next is sensitivity or the way an organism responds to its, sorry, di ko nakita, to its surroundings. So based, this means uh, the way you respond to temperature or the way you respond to noise Basically, the way you respond to anything around you, that is the act of sensitivity. The next is ay, growth or the ability to grow in size or volume. So when plants grow tall or when we grow tall, that's an act of growth. Respiration is when energy is released when food breaks down. So of course, there's Cellular respiration, where energy is broken down inside. And of course, physical respiration, when it's breathing in and out. Next is excretion. Kapag tumatae tayo, guys, yun lang. <laughs> Waste products are removed from the body. And the last one is nutrition. So the way living things acquire food. So when we eat, that is nutrition. So actually, the way you remember this is I use a mnemonic device called MRSGREN or Mrs. Gren. Yes, it's a send ko sa it, actually guys, uh, my study group ako, jan ko ipo-post yung mga dating lessons ko. 
So, ipapost ko rin yung recorded version at yung mismong presentation. So yes, the way I remember this, nung junior high pa ako, was Mrs. Gren. So movement, reproduction, sensitivity, growth, respiration, excretion, and nutrition. Oh, you're welcome. So that's, I, the way that I was able to memorize stuff was I used a lot of mnemonic devices. Kasi mahirap i-memorize yung mga formulas, di ba? So that's the way, that was one of the techniques I used in junior high. Second trivia is cell theory. So cell theory states that all organisms are composed of one or more cells. So we human people, human beings, are composed of cells inside. Second part states, the cell is the basic unit of structure of all organisms. So this all living organisms are made of cells. So, if, as long as it is made of cells, it's a living organism. Next, new cells come from other pre-existing cells. So, basically, the way that new cells are formed is that they actually come from old cells. They're not just created. They actually are derived from old cells. So, now let's move on to biomolecules. Malino ba, guys? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, may naka on mic. Ah, guys, pakimute lahat ng mics, please. Namute ko lahat, pero pakimute din. Thank you. So, next, let's move on to biomolecules. So, biomolecules stands for biological molecule. These are molecules produced by living organisms. So we all as human beings produce biomolecules. So these are important for the survival of living cells. So the four main types of biomolecules are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Naririnig nyo ba ako, guys? Apo. Okay. Yes, po. Okay. So, let's move on. So, first, let's discuss carbohydrates. So, carbohydrates means carbon with water. It serves as an energy source and its monomers are monosaccharides. So, monomers means that these are the basic units. So, the monomers of carbohydrates are glucose, fructose, and galactose. So, polymers are made up of monomers. So, monomers are the basic units and polymers are monomers together, combined together. So, the polymers of carbohydrates are called disaccharides or polysaccharides. So, again, monomer is a basic unit and polymer is R- monomers that are combined together. So carbohydrate examples of disaccharides are glucose plus fructose, which equals to sucrose. Yes, mono is one and di is two, and poly is many. So that's the way you remember it. So sucrose is equal to glucose plus fructose together. So that creates table sugar. So the sugar that we use in our daily lives that is made up of glucose and fructose. Glucose plus the lactose is lactose. So that is the sugar in milk. So when someone is lactose intolerant, that means that they cannot digest lactose. Next, the different polysaccharides. So an, one example of polysaccharide is starch, which plants use as an energy storage. The second is glycogen. So it's our body's stored glucose. So it's the sugar in our bodies. And chitin, which is actually uh, something that is made, something that is a compound used up uh, that makes up exoskeletons. So exoskeletons are actually 
the outer skeletons. Kaka-start lang po ba? Ah, uh, medyo naman. <laughs> but, pwede nyo naman i-rewatch sa Facebook kasi ipapost ko rin dyan. So, next biomolecule is protein. So, proteins are found in meat, fish, milk, and eggs. They provide energy. They build and maintain tissues. And they create enzymes and hormones in our bodies. So, the monomers of protein are amino acids. So, these are the basic units of proteins. The polymers are called polypeptides. So, examples of polypeptides are actually hormones, which is oxytocin and insulin. So, these are hormones that work in the endocrine system of our body, which I can make another video of because it's a mahaba yung endocrine system. So, oxytocin and insulin, these are examples of polypeptides. So, they're made up of amino acids. Next, nucleic acids. So, these store and carry genetic information. The monomers are called nucleotides. And the polymers are actually DNA or RNA. So I made a video, I uh, made a reviewer about this. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. So DNA has a deoxyribose base. And RNA has a ribose base. So the monomers are actually the nitrogen bases that are found in DNA and RNA. So there's uracil, cytosine, thymine, guanine, and adenine. So the polymers, which is DNA, has four types of nitrogen bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. And RNA has four, also four types of bases, which are adenine, guanine, cytosine, uracil. Uracil replaces thymine, which is found in DNA. Malinaw? Yes, bro. Okay. Yay. Yes, bro. Okay. Next. Lipids. So these are actually, in simple terms, it's called fats. They form the cell membrane and they provide long-term energy storage. The monomers are called fatty acids. Their polymers are called triglycerides, which is a type of fa fat that is found in our blood. And fats are stored under the skin to act as thermal insulation. So thermal insulation means warmth. So next, let's move on to chemistry. Malinao? Yes, po. Opo. Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, after responding, pakimute please para hindi tayo magkakaroon ng technical difficulties. Thank you. So chemistry, let's cover acids and alkalis. So what are acids and alkalis? So acids have a pH level of 0 to 6. The lower the pH level, the more acidic. Neutral solutions have a pH level of 7. So this is actually an example of neutral solution is water. And alkalis have a pH level of 8 to 14. So the higher the pH level, the more alkaline there is inside the solution. So here are some examples of acids. So citric acid, which is found in, it's actually a weak acid, so it's not harmful. It won't harm your skin. It's found in limes and lemons. Hydrochloric acid, it's a corrosive lab laboratory acid, which is actually used in production of batteries. So corrosive means that it is harmful. So if it gets on your skin, it will burn and peel off your skin. So pH stands for, oh yeah, there it is. Sorry, potential of hydrogen. That's what it stands for. So if strong acid gets on your skin, it will dissolve it. So hydrochloric acid, usually in the laboratory, it has a label that says it's corrosive. So when you're working with hydrochloric acid, 
it's important to wear gloves and eye and protective eye gear. So, these are examples of alkalis. Sodium hydroxide, which is found in a lot of cleaning products. So, cleaning detergents, oven cleaners, sodium hydroxide is there. Calcium hydroxide, which is actually used in a lot of dentists, which dentists use a lot for root canal fillings. So if you have a filling inside your tooth, it's mostly calcium hydroxide. So when an acid and alkali reach, react with each other, oops, react with each other to balance out one another, this is called neutralization reaction. So an acid and an alkali, when they react together, they create a neutral solution. So it's near the pH level of seven. So neutralization and indigestion. So indigestion is when you can't properly digest your food. So during uh, the process of digestion, the stomach produces hydrochloric acid. So the reason why is because this, allow, this acid allows the food to be broken down and in your stomach, but too much acid in the stomach can cause indigestion. So there are alkaline medicines called antacids that can be taken in to help balance out and neutralize the acid. So when the hydrochloric acid inside your stomach mixes with antacids, that that cancels out the indigestion and there that is a neutralized reaction so toothpaste so there's millions of bacteria in your mouth the bacteria in your mouth feed on the leftover food pieces on your teeth so bacteria produces acid when they feed this acid damages your teeth and makes them decay or rot that's why you guys have and not you guys. <laughs> That's why people have cavities. That's what causes cavities. So toothpaste actually contains alkali, which helps neutralize or cancel out the acid. So that was our chemistry. Malina ba? Yes po. So uh, for, uh, no, after the uh, whole, after all the lessons, you guys can ask questions. So let's move on to English. So we're going to cover foreign words and vocabulary. So first foreign word is avant-garde. Pa-quiz kayo. Sige, magpapa-quiz ako sa inyo. Mag-post ako bukas. What did you learn from the Zoom discussion? <laughs> Sige po. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Avant-garde. It's a French word and it means artistically new. So here's a sentence. People appreciated the painter's avant-garde style. So what they mean to say is that they liked his unique style. Kaka mock exam lang. <laughs> Sige? I mean, basta kung gusto niyo magpa-quiz. Oh. <laughs> Second word, modus operandi. It is a Latin word and it means method of operating. So here's a se sentence. My modus operandi when preparing for tests is to highlight and reread my notes. So what this means is that the way I prepare for my test is that I highlight and reread my notes. Next, prima donna or ah, uh, so it's an Italian word and it means someone difficult to deal with. So basically, kung OA, prima donna ha, charot. <laughs> So after she acted like a prima donna, no one wanted to work with her. So after she acted so difficultly, no one wanted to work with her. Walang may gusto sa kanya. Sakit. Charot. Cum laude. Of course. It's a Latin word and it means with academic honors. So I graduated cum laude from Ateneo. Hindi to totoo guys ha? Pangarap lang to. Pero yeah. This means, yes, sana all cum laude guys. So this means I graduated with academic honors from Ateneo. Oops. Admit all. Yes, guys. Sana all. Persona non grata. So this is another Latin word. 
and it means an unwelcome person. So ever since Mary was caught stealing, the shop declared her persona non grata. So basically, this means ever since she stole, she was never allowed to enter the shop again. So, sabi ni Kim Chu, bawal lumabas. Itong Mary, bawal pumasok. Sorry, so Ay, naku, sama ako. Oh my God. That was not funny. Okay. Next word, pro bono. This is another Latin word. And it means done without charge or done without payment. So, because the client was financially struggling or didn't have enough money, the lawyer decided to handle the case pro bono. So, this means the, the, the lawyer handled the case without the client paying. So, the lawyer did the work for free. So, pro bono also means free. So, next. This review is pro bono. Yes, it is, but I don't mind. It's fun. <laughs> Carte blanche. So it's a French word, and it means freedom of action. So if you are given carte blanche, you must use it responsibly. So basically, with great power or great freedom comes responsibility. Faux pas. Hindi siya faux pas, guys, ha? Huh? Silent X, silent S. So faux pas. It is a French word and it means an embarrassing mistake. So Mary committed a faux pas when she spilled her coffee all over her boyfriend. So basically, when she, when she spilled all her coffee, it was embarrassing for her and it was a mistake. So faux pas, how naman si Mary? Yes. <laughs> faux pas, hindi faux pas. Silent X, silent S. So vocabulary. These are actually words that I took from my set reviewers, which I will give some tips on that later because a lot of people have been asking me what reviewers I use. So first vocabulary word is perpetual. So meaning never ending, eternal, basically forever. So my love for you is perpetual. <laughs> Joke. So, my love for you will never end. It's eternal. It's forever. <laughs> From your same. <laughs> so, commemorate. Second word. It means to honor or to celebrate. So, we held a funeral not to focus on his death, but to commemorate his life. So, this means that... Hello. <laughs> So this means we celebrated his life instead of focusing that he focusing on the fact that he died. So three, infamous, it's an adjective. It means well known for something for some bad quality or for something bad you did. So he was an infamous criminal. So he was known for being a criminal or for doing bad things. Virility, it's a noun. And it means masculinity or the quality of having strength. So this word is usually used when describing guys. So the soldier was praised for his virility or the soldier was praised for his strength and masculinity. Alacrity. Stop toxic virility. Amen. Amen. I like that. Alacrity. So this means eagerness and willingness. So she studied with alacrity. So she studied because she wanted to, because she was eager and she was willing to. Men are trash. <laughs> hindi naman, oh. Hindi naman, guys. Hindi naman lahat ng lalaki trash. Just some guys are. But we, we like men who respect us. So moving on, we lost the. <laughs> Sana all my alacrity. Epitome. So. A perfect example or a particular of a particular quality. So she is the epitome of what a good mother is. So, be, so she is a good example of what a good mother should look like. So she has a lot of good qualities of what a good mother is. Emancipate, which means set free, especially from legal or social or political restrictions. So I took this definition from the Oxford Dictionary, which means 
she decided to emancipate herself from her parents and live on her own. So this means her parents are not responsible for her anymore. She can do whatever she wants and she's free, basically. Next, adamant. It's an adjective. It means refuse to change one's mind. Matigas yung ulo mo, basically. I am adamant about becoming a doctor instead of a lawyer. So, I am definite, 100% sure about becoming a doctor instead of a lawyer. Hindi magbabago ang isip mo. Blasphemy, it's a noun. And it means disrespect towards religious topics. So, basic, so this is disrespect towards Christians, Catholics, Muslims. Disrespect towards religion. So he committed blasphemy by cursing inside the church. So he was very disrespectful by cursing inside the church. Reverence, which means respect for someone. On All Souls Day, we must show reverence to those who have died. So on All Souls Day, we must show our respects or pay our respects to those who have died. So, okay guys. So a lot of people have been asking me what reviewers I use. So if you're going, kung bibili kayo, kung lang. If you're going to buy a reviewer, buy MSA reviewers or buy Phoenix Publishing House books. So this is a picture of my reviewers. These are probably the best reviewers that I've seen in National Bookstore. So if you're going to really spend your money, by MSA. MSA has practices a lot of ano, critical thinking. So you can practice your skills and a lot of the subjects. It's not just one subject. It's math, English, science. What about Tomb of Knowledge? Okay. Oh my gosh. Sana walang magagalit sa akin. Yung Tomb of Knowledge, guys. Uh, puro siya shortcuts, formulas. So hindi kayo magpapap hindi ko yung magpa-practice ng skills nyo. Review center recommendation. Oh, um, review center recommendation, um, review masters, or kung nasa Quezon City kayo, Magis, Magis, sa may katipunan. Brain, brain train is good. But, yeah, um, if you're going to buy reviewers, Buy one that is not just shortcuts, but you can practice as well. So, I don't, it's, it's not a bad reviewer, but I don't recommend Tomb of Knowledge. Refrain from, yeah, refrain from getting PDFs. So, yeah, it's not a bad reviewer, guys, but how much for your books? Phoenix was 100, I bought my Phoenix reviewer for 150. And my MSA reviewer was a bit expensive, 225. Ginamit ko allowance ko. <laughs> but yeah, but it's very helpful. San yung po nabili? Uh, National Bookstore. Effective po ba yung na nagkalat online? Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing about reviewers online. They are actually um, effective, pero may mga reviewers na walang answer key. So hindi niyo malalaman kung tama o mali yung sagot niyo. So, kung magda-download kayo ng online reviewers, make sure may answer key siya. Ipapost niyo ba reviewer niyo? Yung presentation na to, yes, ipapost ko to. Don't worry. Nasa website po ng RM. Yes, Review Masters has free reviewers that are very, very reliable. Yung nasa MSA. Ay, yung MSA, wala akong soft copy. And, um, ibibenta niyo po yung MSA. Ha, huh? um, I'm not sure kasi may sagot na pati I'm not sure if I'm allowed to kasi baka may copyright. Med tricky lang pagkuhan ng solutions. Yung sa Tomb of Knowledge po, kinakasuhan po yung nagde-distribute. Yes, I saw that. Guys, I'm part of some reviewer groups. Hindi ko lang magsasabi ng pangalan ko pero nakikita ko na kalat ng kalat yung Tomb of, Tomb of Knowledge. Huwag niyo i-download. Kasi, yeah, di po talaga okay. Okay, guys, hindi naman sa masama ang Tomb of Knowledge, but if you really want to review, 
you should buy reviewers that are just not shortcuts. But MSA has answer keys and it lets you practice your solutions. Effective po ba yung UPCAT review? Ano ba yung UPCAT review? Ay, hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa nakita. <laughs> Maganda. Yes, academic clinic, clinic is good. Academic clinic is very good. Um, okay, tomb of knowledge is not bad. But if you really want to learn, MSA is better. Is to combine it. Yes, if you're going to buy tomb of knowledge, do it with mock exams. Book cut review center. Um, kung mag review center kayo, alam ko naman may mga hindi kasi, ano, how do you say? Ano, most effective pa ba mag review center? Okay, last question. So, kung mag review center kayo, pero wala kayong matututo, wala naman sa isa, di ba? So, if you're going to do review center, make sure you learn. Sana po nag-offer ang ahead ng free class. Okay. Tip two. If you want to improve your English skills, do practice reading comprehension tests. So, ito yung ginawa ko nung junior high ako. Kaya, fluent ako sa English. So, kung gusto niyo mag, ano, matuto ng ano, English skills, do reading comprehension. Writing down notes instead of typing them helps in memorization. So, kapag nag-aaral kayo, guys, ano, notebook instead of phone or laptop. Notebook is my recommendation. I have a very thick notebook full of notes and it helps me memorize my notes. So, I recommend that. Okay. Don't memorize, understand. So guys, kahit alam nyo yung formula ng trigonometric functions, kung di nyo naiintindihan kung ba bakit yun yung formula, wala rin sa isa eh. So, understand your notes. So, my study group na, na tayo guys, dito ako nagpo-post ng dating presentations ko sa grade 9 and 10. So, I share step-by-step -step math and science Mostly math and science, pero nagpo-focus ako. Pero ano, nagpo-provide din ako ng English. Link po. Nasa, ano tawag dito? Nasa Facebook page ko, guys. So, punta kayo sa PhD3 Academy. Nag-post ko na yung group. Yeah. Okay, so, actually, yun na yun, guys. Is there anything else you want to discuss? Any other questions? Anything you didn't understand from a while ago? Thank you. Effective ba yung Zoom discussion? Pwede ba bumili sa Shopee ng MSA? I think so. Check Shopee and Carousel. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Ang sweet nyo. Tingin nyo, madidelay ba set season? Wala bang announcement? Baka magsa-social distancing, distancing kayo habang nagsiset. <laughs> Malaking tulong. Oh, what are techniques po ginagamit nyo para sa ma-recall yung vocabulary? Oh, um, Flashcards. So one side is the word and the other side is the meaning. Possible ba na online entrance exam? Di ako sure. Effective po Khan Academy. Yes, very effective. I used Khan Academy. It helped me through junior high. <laughs> online exam, baka hindi online exam yung asset of God. Yung mga big four, feeling ko hindi sila online. If you're... Di ba po may litmus test? Yes, my litmus test. There's... Uh, so, litmus test... Okay, wait. Let me go back <laughs> to the... Oh my God, wait. but ang dami kong animations? Ano ba yan? Okay. So, the way you identify litmus test. So, in, so litmus is a type of solution. So you dip a piece of paper in a litmus solution. And then you dip it in an acid. If it's acid, it turns red. If it's alkali, it turns blue or purple-ish. And if it's, so if it's, ano, pH 7 or 
neutral, it turns green. Uh, how about UpCut review applications? Yes, I actually use them sa phone ko. Ginagamit ko sila. And what else? Uh, guys, uh, may, may nag-message sa akin na gusto nila na, na, ng YouTube channel. Effective ba, effective ba yun, guys? Gusto niyo ba na magkaroon ako ng YouTube channel? Yes. <laughs> yes po. <laughs> Sige, I'll think about it. Kasi baka may malalaman na ako yung nag <laughs> nag explain kasi nahihiya ako talaga. Pero yeah, I think na kaya ko naman i-post ka, i-post ko sa So, any other questions? Anything that needs to Ano up ba sa phone ginagamit niyo? Kung magsisubscribe kayo sa Google Play, Upcut Reviewers. Ano, there's um I use this app called ACT Flashcards. So there's English, Math, Science, sobrang helpful. ACT Flashcards. Ano course kukunin niyo? Sana Science, sana ano pre-med <laughs> kung kaya. Maganda Miriam Webster. Yes, it is. So app for vocab is ACT flashcards. My next online review pa ba? Um, gusto niya ba may isa pang online review? Nakakatulong ba to guys? <laughs> Opo. Okay, so pwede rin naman physics in next review ko kasi may may mga nagbe-message sa akin request ng videos. So, wag ko yung mahiya. Message na lang or comment kung ano yung gusto niyong online review. Any other questions? Calculus. Oh my gosh. Calculus. STEM. Oof. More chem. Okay. Yeah. Sabi ng isang follower ko na chem. Balancing equations. Trigo. Oh my gosh. Unit circle. Trigo. Physics. So, electromagnetic spectrum. Math. Math? Okay. Um, yung tip ko sa math, guys, yung lahat ng um, lahat ng worksheets niyo sa junior high, igawa nyo, nyo ulit para malalaman nyo kung bakit yun yung sagot. <laughs> Calculus. Oh my God. Ang talino nyo po. Oh, thank you. So sweet. Ang sweet nyo. Tapos may essay, just college survival tips para masaya. Yes! Actually, daming nag-message sa akin kung ano yung tips ko. Um, don't study too much. I know it's a bad advice, but kung hindi ko yung nag-enjoy kung ano yung lessons mo, wala rin naman say-say kasi hindi naman papasok yung sa utak nyo. So, study when you want to. Not because you have to, but because you want to. Any other questions? You're a blessing to... Oh! Oh my God. Kailan kaya ang entrance exam? Uh, baka September or October. Ang sweet nyo. Oh my God. Baka sa September, October pa yung entrance exam. Kasi ang alam ko... Sabi ng DepEd, no face-to-face -face classes before August. So, sa mga private school students dyan, may online classes na. Cute po ng voice. <laughs> thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Guys, wag naman, ma'am. Ate na lang. <laughs> Senior high student pa ako. Face reveal. Ah, uh, baka may... Baka may kilala ko dito. So, wag na lang. <laughs> may pasok kami two to three times a week. Graduate na po kayo. Actually, ano, I'm, I'm a grade 11 STEM student. So, yeah. I'm grade 11. Yes, I'm grade 11. Pero ano, yung mga notes ko, kasi dati, advanced math ako. So, yes. Ito yung, paano po yung, estimated na pusukan ng mga in -up. So basically guys, yung mga tanong regarding sa sets, abangan nyo na lang ng announcement. But parang boss is college. Oh my God! <laughs> Online exam. 
TL Mats. Yes, may mga sets na online na. So, abangan nyo rin announcements. Follow the pages of your future colleges kasi dyan galing yung mga announcements. Incoming grade 11. No, hindi ako incoming grade 11. Kaka grade 11. Ah, hindi ako incoming grade 12. Kaka grade 11 lang ako. <laughs> Maganda po MSA Review Center. Yes, MSA is the best, honestly. Okay. Kung nasa Katipunan kayo, Magis. Magis Uhur. Ano pa target school nyo? Ateneo, sana, sana. Saan po kayo nag-aaral? Oh, secret. Next school year po, grade 11. Yes. So, 2021 to 22, ah, 2020 to 2021, grade 11 ako. Pero promise, reliable yung sources ko kasi notes ko galing sa teachers. Nag-A-shape rin ba kayo? No, hindi ako nag-A-shape. <laughs> kasi automatic pumasok ako sa senior high ng school ko ngayon. So, huwag na lang. <laughs> Mahirap po A-shape. Sabi nung kasi uh, <laughs> yung jowa ko, atinista, <laughs> mahirap daw. <laughs> Patch kita. Yay! So, kung mag a shape kayo, guys, ano, so, sabi ng jowa ko, sobrang hirap yung math. Madali English, pero kung mag-system kayo sa Ateneo, quota course siya. So, dalingan nyo sa a shape At malaking ambag yung essay daw, sabi niya. So, yeah. nag a shape po ako, pero nakapasok. Aww. Ano po yung a shape Ano? Ateneo Senior High. Nakaka-stress yung A-shape daw, sabi niya. Na-stress daw na. So, yun lang yung lesson, guys. English, math, English, chemistry, bio. Anong gusto niyong next lesson? Math. Math. <laughs> math, math, physics, math. Then, math. So, math and science. Okay. So, Sana, so, sali na kayo sa uh, study group. Na-post ka na yung link sa Facebook page. So, next lesson, math and science na naman. So, wala na English. So, i-upload ko yung presentation na to sa study group. So, thank you guys. Hopefully, you learned something. Thank you all. So, i-end ko na yung meet. Thank you. Thank you all. Hi. 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 H